Tay Black Boston here with a quick video. Tyson Fury believes he got robbed. That's the reason why he don't want to go inside the ring and fight Deontay Wilder a second time. I seen some article. He's basically saying, why would he go back to Showtime? And he felt he wanted to fight. His people felt like he wanted to fight. And he believed that many of his fans believed that he wanted to fight. <laughs> and he also stated, you know, you know the saying how the saying goes, like fool me once. Shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. However that saying goes, he's basically saying, why well, basically why go back and do the same thing? And he already believed he got the victory. You know, he, he believed he got robbed. And listen, only person that got robbed that night was Deontay the Brothers by my wilder. He was robbed from a knockout. Okay? He should be 41 and 0 with 40 knockouts. But we're seeing how that happened. You know? You seen Fury in there. He boxed beautifully at times. He was out boxing Wilder. He got caught a couple of times. One round, he got he was able to get up and and the other knock the other knockdown really was a knockout. But beat it as it may, it was ended in a controversial draw no matter who you believe won. So Deontay Wilder wanted to get right back in there and fight for a second time. And he said he want to do it right the next fight. You see, you seen what Fury said in the first place. He want to see, he want to talk with his team, talk with his family, go back home, spend Christmas, and all the extra shit that he said. Now he aligned himself up with Bob Aaron. We seen the writing on the wall, people. We actually, to the, we actually, some of us seen the writing on the wall after their last fight with Deontay Wilder saying, "Hey." I want to get right back in there. Let's fight. And Fury saying, hey, I want to go home and chill with my family first. We know Fury, you know, he seen God that night. When he when he flat on his back and he rose like the Undertaker, he seen God. He seen death. I already know that was the closest that he ever seen to death. Even closer than when his cokehead ass almost overdosed. Uh, when he was overdosing on cocaine and shit like that. Okay? Deontay Wilder dove your punk pussy ass out the grave. You even said the reason why you came back is because of what Deontay Wilder said. You know, he encouraged you. You had a couple tuna fights. He said he wanted to put the UK on your back because of what uh, Joshua was doing to uh, Wilder. And guess what? You become Joshua 2.0. You know, so Wilder, 50 and 0, brother. 50 and 0. Start with uh, Dominique punching back with Titties Brazil. Knock his ex curl out of his fucking head. And then it don't matter if you fight Taxi Cab Driver Tim, uh, Tomato Can uh, Tommy, or uh, Trash Can Man Thomas. It really don't even matter. Line them on up, knock them on down, 50 and 0, retire. It is what it is, brother. They don't want to fight you in the first place. We, the real f fight fans know who the real champion is. And that's Deontay the Bronze by Wilder. You know what I mean? And for Tyson Fury. Here on out, everybody should be hashtag gyps uh, gypsy queen, man. Because that's what he is. He's a whole ho. He's a cokehead, egghead, out of shape, Pierceberry, nobody do uh, ass bastard, man. You know? Nobody was checking for this motherfucker in the first place. But it is what it is, man. I ain't going to even harp on this shit. The brother Deontay Wilder got business to handle. And let them fucking, you know. Let them cowards continue to do what they got to do, man. K-Black in the building.